Should Bob invest in some municipal bonds? So I got an email from my man Bob from Indiana. He said, yeah, I got some CDs maturing, got some cash. Should I revisit a municipal bonds? So well, I haven't looked at them for a while, so let's take a look here. So I just pulled up my Schwab, and actually, ironically, the first one that came up was at Indiana University, right? Uh, multiple obligators, so that the revenue bond, all right? So here we got GO, government obligation. So let's just look at this one right here. Uh, we're just looking at AAA rated bonds. Um, it's got a, a coupon at 5%. Continuously callable, uh, uh, the beginning it will be callable on uh, June 1st, of, so basically a year from now, 2025, and they're going to pay you 100 for it. So he, he would pay 101 for this right now, and they'd, uh, theoretically they could call that back in a year at 100. So he'd lose a buck 45 cents on, on capital gain, he would, or it'd be a capital, a, a depreciation, a loss essentially. But he'd make up for that with a 5% coupon. So his yield to worse is 3.609. So that means if they called it, he would get a 5% coupon, all right? And then he would lose a buck 45 for every $100. So basically he'd lose essentially 1.4%. Hope that makes sense. So let me explain this real quick. So he's getting 5% as his coupon, all right? That's what he's getting, 5% as his coupon. He'd get that for the next year, because if it's called, it'd be called in a year. And he'd lose one point, what do we say, 1.4% of the share price. Because right now it's trading at a um, 101.4, so $101.40. $101 they call back at 100, so he'd lose 1.4 on the share price, 1.4%. So essentially, we take those two numbers, that's our 3.6% yield to worse. All right, so he's getting 3.6% yield to worse, but then it's also tax-free. So we'd have to say, okay, and what you do for your municipal bonds, you take your current yield and you subtract that one minus your tax bracket. So we're going to say, for simplicity, we're going to put them in a 25% tax bracket. So you take 3.6 minus 0.75 or divide by 0.75. That's how you figure out your yield to uh, tax equivalent yield, 3.6 divided by 0.75. It's paying a 4.8%. Yeah, so I wouldn't do that because right now we're getting more than that in just money market accounts. Now that's, you know, assured for next until next year, but I, that doesn't seem big enough to me. So, and then these yield to worse here. So the, the, the reason the yield to worse is going down is because the, uh, these are callable. Yeah, so this one's callable in, in April of next year, less than a year, and the price is higher. Uh, he, so in this case, you get a 5% general obligation bond from Maryland, which is less risky than a revenue bond. I'm not all that worried about these risks and, you know, Maryland, whatever. But you're still get the same coupon at 5%. The price is higher, though. Not much. 101.5, 101.4. The price is higher, but there's less time before it could be called. So this one could be called in June. This one could be called in April. So you have a yield to worse of 3.2% versus a yield to worse at 3.609%. And so none of these are going to be favorable in terms of after tax, the tax equivalent yield relative to just a good old fashioned money market account. So let's look at some longer maturity bonds here and let's see what we got. Hold on a sec. See what I did is I put non-callable bonds. So here you got the Klein, Texas uh, Independent School District government obligation or uh, gov uh, general obligation bond. Uh, 5% is a coupon. You're getting 5% tax free, but the price is 108. All right, so that your yield to maturity is only three. Yeah, I just the bonds just don't look that good to me right now. Um, municipal bonds, there's just none of. I mean, if you're in a higher than 25% tax bracket, maybe, but I don't even think Bob's in a 25% tax bracket. So I would shy away from that, frankly. Um, I can't tell you what to do, my friends. You got to do your own thing. But right now, municipal bonds still don't look that good to me. All right, love your thoughts. God bless.